All right, y'all, welcome back. Welcome back to the Vessel Brie, baby. That's me, baby. We're going to tap right into this message, all right? Listen, y'all, I was outside yesterday, and I seen, like, a squirrel, right? And my dog was, like, um, wasn't chasing it. It was, like, the dog seen the squirrel, the squirrel seen the dog, right? They were, like, staring at each other. My dog was, like, inching, getting closer, inching, getting closer, you know, ready to, like basically attack right and the squirrel wasn't moving the squirrel was looking as if they were like unfazed unmoved as if only it didn't see the dog except it was staring right at it right it was like um looking in its peripheral uh vision and it's like as soon as the dog as soon as my dog got close enough like thinking that right um, it was about to attack like oh I'm close enough I got you the squirrel immediately like sprouts up but something about it sprouting up, like the squirrel didn't run to the other side of the yard. It didn't run, you know, forward, backwards, whatever. It immediately struck up, right? It went um, up the tree. It climbed the tree and it left the dog looking like, oh, I don't got you. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you're too high for me to reach. Spirit saying like, y'all are too high for your enemies to reach. You're too high for your, your enemies to try to attack you, right? They, they seen you and they seen you sitting, right? Sitting in plain sight. They seen you. They were aware of you. They were like, oh, we got him now. I'm just like, we got him cornered now. Oh, we see him now. We got him now. And it's like, as soon as they were getting ready to attack, as soon as they almost felt like they got you, they had you right where, where, where they wanted you, right? Spirit didn't just move you. Spirit elevated you. Spirit had you go up the ladder. Spirit has you like on, um, had you incline, right? Because it's like the squirrel immediately, um, it's like it was preparing for its like, break, preparing for its break, preparing to like leave the dog in the dust, right? Because when I was looking up the spiritual meaning of a squirrel, it was talking about, you know, um, preparation, progress. And it's like the preparation really spoke to me like in the midst of the attack, the squirrel was being prepared to break free. You see what I'm saying? In the midst of your, your attack, in the midst of you feeling alone, in the midst of you feeling, you know, left behind, neglected, in the midst of you feeling drained, in the midst of you feeling stagnant, in the midst of you feeling stuck, in the midst of you not knowing which way to go, left or right, spirit's like neither, up. Spirit's pulling you up. Spirit's pulling you so high to an elevation, to a state of where your enemies can only not touch you, but they can't even see you. You feel what I'm saying? And even if they see you, you're so far high elevated, they can't even reach you. You're untouchable. You're unreachable. I'm getting, you're being prepared for your break. In the midst of your enemies, in the midst of people looking at you, feeling like, again, they got you right where they want you. It's like as soon as they think they got you, as soon as your enemies are ready to attack, spirits like break, but break up. So, ooh, for, so, so for some of you guys, you could be going through a breakup with the, with the, um, Somebody who, you know, felt like, oh, I got this person right where I want them. Oh, I got them back in my energy now. Oh, I got their heart back now. Oh, I, I'm ready to uh, to attack. I'm ready to sneak in now. Kind of like the Seven of Swords energy, you know. I, I got them now. As soon as that happens, spirit pulls you up higher. You feel what I'm saying? Spirit, because up the tree, dog can't climb no tree. At that point, once you're so high elevated, it's like once the squirrel was on the tree, all the dog could really do was bark. But get this, my dog didn't bark at all. It's almost like my dog knew, oh shit, I can't reach you up there. I might as well just leave you alone. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like spirit's taking you to a level where your enemies are like, I can't even, I can't even go that high. I can't even, I can't even reach them. I, you know, I'm about to just go about my business. You feel me? It's like the dog didn't even bark. You heard all this bark and all this yelling, you know what I'm saying? All bark, you know, no bite type energies that I feel like spirit is separating elevating you from and it's like it's gonna get to a point where you can't even hear their bark it's gonna get to a point where it's like your your elevation that's what i'm getting here your elevation is going to shut your enemies up they're not gonna have nothing to speak about other than the fact of wow look how high they climbed that tree you feel what i'm saying so that's the energy that that i'm getting here spirit is preparing you in the midst of attack, in the midst of your enemies. Spirit is elevating you for all to see. For all to see and none to touch. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here. Like, you can look, honey, but don't you dare touch. You can't touch if you wanted to. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? It's like, you too high up. You too high up. You too elevated. The sun, you too high up. 
I forgot I switched my camera. You too high up. You too elevated. You're too in this happy, joyful energy. The most high is, is anointing you. The most high is too present with you. Source is with you. It's like people are going to come into your energy and be like, nope, that one's tapped into the most high. We're just going to go the other way, which would be smart for them, right? You could be a Leo. You could be a Pisces because I see this fish here and then the, the sun card is Leo. But it's like the most, that's, what, that's what's happening. The most high is illuminating you for everyone to see. This is the sun card is a beautiful card to start out with. This is this is the card of of overwhelmed with happiness, overwhelmed with joy, success. Like literally like the best card. This is this is the this is the you know the happiest you can feel is is the type of energy. I mean, you can feel, I mean, don't get me wrong, when you elevate, you elevate, baby. But the but the sun card here, this is like, this is my moment. This is my time to shine. What are you doing trying to bark up a tree you can't climb? That's the energy here. Four of Wands. Exactly what I'm saying. This is your time to celebrate. It's a celebration. <laughs> this is your time to celebrate. I'm even hearing, you know, I ain't going to say who it's by because I ain't got time. Y'all, I know, I know how y'all feel about this artist. It ain't got nothing to do with that. You feel me? It got everything to do with the song, right? So it's, it's giving me the song, um, Back Your Party. It's a backyard party. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say who it's by. You feel me? Um, what's he say in the beginning of that song? I don't know. Get somebody. Get somebody. Get look up. Uh, anyways, yeah, I feel like it's a backyard party. And literally, I seen. I seen. Well, I was sitting in my backyard when I seen that happen. It's like, it's a backyard party, but only the elevated are invited. That's the energy. That's the energy that this gives me here. This also gives me you reaching a certain height of success, a certain level of success. You finally, whatever you've been waiting for to 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 come through for you, whatever you've been waiting for. Maybe you've been waiting to tap into this energy that you're in. Maybe you've been waiting um, for a marriage, for a ring. Maybe you've been waiting for a home to buy a home, a new house. Maybe you've been waiting. You know, it's like whatever you've been waiting for, it's here. It's here. And if it's not here, it's soon to come is what I'm getting here. It's like right here. It's like, don't give up. If you're in this, 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 uh, this three of wands energy, which is the four, but let's say that you're in the three of wands energy, right? And you're, you've been planning, you've been organizing and you finally took charge, took action to do something. You finally, um, went overseas. You finally took that trip. You finally planned that vacation or you finally, um, put out a layout for your passions, for your talents. You finally like put yourself in the light. You finally are shining your light. And I feel like you're going to get exactly, maybe not exactly what you were looking for, but I feel like something is coming in for you in the way that you desired it, right? That's going to make you more than happy. You know, it's like sometimes we ask the most high for things and, and the most high laughs at us like, that's what you asking for? Let me show you what I really got for you. You feel me? Let me show you what I really got for you. Because what you're asking for, that might make you content. That might satisfy you. But what I'm about to give you, that's going to bless you. That's going to, that's going to over, the Most High is going to overfill your cup. I'm getting like somebody has met their destination. You are meeting your destination. Stand your ground. Shine your light. Choose to be happy. So I'm getting whatever you've been praying for, whatever you've been waiting for to come in for you, it's here. Whatever with that with that four, whatever you've been manifesting, not only is it here, but it's solid, it's protected. See, with that preparation here, it's like you're you're the most high was making you solid. And, per, and was protecting you through this whole way. The Most High was preparing you for what you're about to step into, for what you're about to receive right now. The Most High was preparing you for yourself. Queen of Swords here. I feel like you had to get very logical. You had to set boundaries with people that can't come where you're going. You had to set boundaries with people that were trying to, it's like, this is like a scanner, like right here. Like before you step into my energy, scan, 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 scan. And on that scanner, it says low or high vibration. Or when I scan, you feel what I'm saying? That scan is 
like, it's like your, your sword of truth. Continue speaking your truth. Continue being in your authentic self. Continue being honest, being brave, being courageous. I'm getting even being blunt. Some of you, some of you guys are gonna have to get blunt with certain energies. Like, look, bruh, you see you can't climb the tree. What you keep barking at me for? That's the energy that I'm getting. Like, you know what I'm saying? I also feel like this Queen of Swords is a lot of like silence. Like, uh, like, speak your truth, yeah, but but at the same time, it's like knowing the balance between speaking your truth and, and when to remain silent. Because it's like when you remain silent, you're, you're thinking. When you remain silent, you're like seeing the truth. Through the silence, you see the truth. And then you get to speak your truth off of whatever you accumulated or, or came to terms with or realization with. The chariot. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. This queen of swords. This queen of swords could also be another energy here. Another energy kind of trying to like. Queen of swords also represents like. In the reverse, you know, it's not in the reverse. Because none of these cards are in the reverse. But let's say this was in reverse. This would be like a bitchy attitude. This would be like heart completely closed. This would be like. um. This would be like narcissistic, honestly. I feel like you're stopping the narcissistic energies at the door. You're choosing to keep boundaries with those that can't um, come to this, that can't move in the direction that you're moving with, that you're moving. Or what I'm, I feel like you, you are, chariot is also success, also victory, um, triumph, overcoming certain challenges, moving forward, um, not caring what other people say how other people feel, you're just moving forward, you know, because you you know the direction that you're supposed to move, you're ready, you're getting ready, you're getting ready to go, or you're already on the go, right? This could also represent, like, um, differences, having to face differences and, um, I kind of feel like having to face differences and kind of, like, seeing the truth in them, kind of like seeing your reflection or your reflection in other people. And um, I feel like picking apart, maybe not picking uh, picking apart, but being able to see the diversity and using that to kind of unify. That's what I'm getting here. Using the diversity of people, places, and things to unify I keep staring at this chariot card. I also feel like this is like you, you could be incorporating different, um, I don't want to say beliefs. I just want to say diverse ways of thinking. I feel like you're, you're choosing to be open-minded while still standing in your truth and how you feel and honestly communicating, um, your truth. Let's say somebody else is communicating their truth. You're communicating your truth. You don't necessarily believe uh, their truth, but you're you, maybe you're open-minded to it. Maybe you use some of other people's truth um, and kind of like integrate it with your truth, and that also helps you push forward. It's almost like it's almost like you you are open-minded. You you do have this demeanor where it's like don't come at me with no bullshit. You feel me? Because I'm over here. I'm over here shining. Don't think because I'm over here shining in this God or Goddess energy, you know, receiving, you know, what I've been prepared for, right? This is the put. This is this is what some of your enemies are missing. What you've been prepared for, what you've been molded for, right? Because you got to be prepared and molded for it. Don't come over here trying to mess that up. But I'm open to hearing your side, because not only are you open to hear, hearing other people's intellect, um, ways of thinking. You, you you use that to kind of like gain more knowledge and wisdom for yourself. So you, you, you stay and stand in your truth, but you're open to other people's truths as well. Not only are you open to it, you apply, you, you, you kind of like discern. I don't even want to say discern. It's like you apply diverse ways of thinking into your subconscious mind is what I want to say. And conscious, right? 
it's very interesting. And then it's like you take that knowledge. It's like everywhere you go, you take that knowledge with you to furthermore push you along. That's what that's what I'm getting here. To furthermore push you along your purpose, your mission, where you're trying to go. It's like you're very diverse. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting like a very diverse energy here. the tower. I feel like you're like shocking people with your energy, the way that you can control yourself, the way that you are securing yourself, but also the way like the, um, the way that you can, your restraint as well. I feel like your strength and your restraint is shocking people. The way that you can restrain and withhold from certain people, places and things. Um, but also the way that you can still be open to them. It's like, it's like confusing people how your energy is. It's like you're a very non-biased, um, you're not very judgment, judgmental at all. This could, I don't know if people are like wanting you to like, I would say wanting your opinion, wanting to hear your side of how you think, um. What you what they want to hear what you have to say, but I feel like this is more so like people like wanting you to like judge them. Like, am I a good energy or am I a bad energy? Like, I don't I don't know what this is. I feel like that's what I'm getting because you're in such this this um tapped in heavenly energy that like people feel like you can do no wrong, so they want to know how you got into that energy. But the tower here, Knight of Pentacles, this is a good tower. This is a good tower. This is a tower speaking of self-sufficiency. This is like the nine before the 10. It's like you can, you are handling it all on your own, but you're not just handling it. You're handling it like you really got it. Like you really got it like that. Like you're really good. You feel me? Um, I feel like this is also like a self-made energy. Everything that that is that you're attracting at this time that you're manifesting, it's like you did it on your own. You got it out the mud. Um, and I feel like this is shocking people. I also feel like you guys could have went through some unexpected change where you had to rebuild yourself back up again. You had to get back into this Knight of Pentacles. It's like this Knight of Pentacles required work. This isn't just you wake up overnight, oh, I'm in the Knight of Pentacles. No, you had to work very hard to get to where you're at. And yeah, you experienced some hardships. Yeah, you experienced some unexpected changes, but it didn't change your character. Right? It didn't. Um, the most high, God never loosened its grip on you. Your ancestors never left you. They'll never leave you. You had to make a lot of sacrifices to get to where you're going or to get to where you're you're at, right? But it's like with this Nine of Pentacles, you didn't lost nothing. You gained a lot. Yeah, you gained a lot with this King of Pentacles. That's crazy because with this King of Pentacles next to the Nine of Pentacles, I almost feel like... Because King of Pentacles is very wealthy. King of Pentacles is someone who's like reached a level of status and wealth, could have a business here, um, to where very loyal as well, very respected, very intellectual King of Pentacles, very stable, very secured within themselves. They could have an empire foundation that they build on their own, right? It's like that high status energy um, to where somebody, because this is the nine with the king, so there could be somebody here who... You may not be talking to, you may not even know this person, but they're very like wealthy within mind, within spirit, within finances, like I said, and this could be somebody that you're going to meet in this, this new cycle. This is somebody that you're going to meet. There's like somebody you've been waiting to meet that you didn't know you were waiting to meet. And I feel like this person's going to give you that other pinnacle, whether this is them giving you the financial stability to, you know, do what you got to do, whether this is them giving you the knowledge, um, sacred knowledge, wisdom to do what you have to do, or whether this is like them just, I feel like someone wants to assist you. This is somebody who has a lot for themselves and then some, like they could give, they could, they could help someone else out or, or give, or give someone else money or, or a substantial amount of finances. And then they still have more than enough for themselves. Right. I feel like there's somebody that wants to help you or maybe they don't even know they want to help you. Maybe this is somebody that you're just going to meet or feel guided to meet. I know there's a lot of faded connections that um, have been coming up in these reads. 
Wow. With the Ten of Pentacles. That's what I just said. That's what I'm freaking talking about. With the Knight of Pentacles, what did I say? This is not an overnight process. This is something that you had to work for. Something that could have been taking a long time. Something that's been slow moving. Something that you've been investing in, putting your blood, sweat, and tears in for, for a while now, right? Something you've been working on for a long time. This is not an overnight thing. This is like slow moving. It could still be slow moving, right? Um... But the fact of the matter is you're going to get there with the Ten of Pentacles, baby. With the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like you're moving right on into success. Like, first of all, someone's financial troubles or hardships, and I don't see that you're going through that here. Maybe you did in the past and you're building yourself back up or already have or whatever this is. Somebody's about to come into a substantial amount of funds is what I'm getting here. Um, as well as, like I said, good health, good wealth. Um, this is like an inheritance though. The chariot also talks about purpose. This is like, it's a part of your purpose to be wealthy. It's a part of like, your, it's a part of your purpose to meet this person. It's like you may not, I mean, you made it this far, right? You made it to the Knight of Pentacles, so you may not need this. You may you may be in the Queen of Swords kind of off guard um, from certain energies, but I feel like this is somebody who's going to be loyal to you, loyal to your foundation, loyal to what you're working on, loyal to this business, loyal to, this could also be someone from your community or someone you're going to work with doing something for your community, loyal to your community, Like, I really feel like, let me see here. And then that was this, this, what, the six of wands? That's success. That's victory. That's, um, y'all didn't see it here, the six of wands. But that is, um, like achieving all the obstacles and challenges. Yeah, I feel like if something's been taking a long time with this Knight of Pentacles here, things are about to speed up for you. I feel like your money's about to speed up for you. I feel like some of you guys could be called to travel or you guys are just being called in action. But I feel like this, this line down here is unexpected. This is what you don't see. You being independent. You being secured. You see that. You know that you're being independent. And if you're not, if you don't feel like that... You're about to be able, like, this whole read with the sun and, and, and the chariot and the tower, this is unexpected movement, unexpected success, unexpected happiness that, like, feels like it comes out of nowhere after working very hard, very long on something that's been taking a substantial amount of time. And then not only once that unexpectedly happens and you get there, it's like, boom, then you're sufficient, you're stable, you're, 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 you're receiving messages from spirit um, on how else to move forward to become that king of pentacles, that wealthy um, business owner, that, that loyal husband or wife that, you know, um, has the finances all together. Like this is like, this whole read speaks stability. This whole read speaks foundation. This whole read speaks empire. This whole read speaks moving on at a, at a, at a, um, a fast rate, a fast speed after feeling like, again, something's been taking forever and having to learn or learn how to maintain boundaries, um, consistently while doing this this is like literally a celebration like i feel like you're literally about to be celebrating something this ten of pentacles is like ba i'm telling you this is wealth spiritually mentally physically this is wealth and the sun card here you you don't even see this you don't expect this to happen maybe you've seen the vision maybe like i said the knight of pentacles you've been working towards it it's, you know, you've been holding the boundaries, you've been speaking your truth, you've been remaining authentic, you've been moving in your truth, moving in your purpose, moving in alignment, and it's like spirit is like, all right, bless them, or or sends a person, you know, where somebody feels called to go help someone else, right? Somebody may be called to come help you, assist you, um, or you may be called to go help and assist someone else. Whatever this is, it's going to be very prosperous and abundant with this Ten of Pentacles here. This could also involve like a wealthy community um, that's going to surround you, support you, be loyal to you, see the truth in you, appreciates your authenticity. But again, 
after hard work. Yeah, work it like literally after off of working in the moon with the strength card here. And then the ace of pentacles with the ace of chalices. Oh my gosh. Whatever seed you planted and have been working towards, maybe you've been working towards it in, in uncertainty. Maybe you got lost in it. Maybe you got lost in work. Maybe you, you, um... You had to use your intuition a lot. You, you, it's like you, you didn't know. There was a lot of things that were hidden to you. You just knew that you, you were going to keep working. You just knew, you know, you've been here for a long time is what I'm getting here. But the moon here, yeah, this is like unknown. You didn't know what was going to happen next. And it's like, this is crazy. It's like someone who didn't, who was unsure and certain if something would work, you, but you kept working at it. It's like in the midst of the moon, in the midst of, um, feel like you couldn't maybe possibly trust something um in the moon in the in the midst of feeling like possibly things was dark and it was like you 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 in the, in the middle of the dark you seen that little glimmer of light or you knew that you had to turn on your light be that light be that strength use that quiet strength you knew you had to like um this could be even heal. It could even been a talk, it took a long time to heal before all this came in, or that's what spirit was aiming for you to do, to heal certain things before this comes in. But this strength card here, this healer card energy is like your solar plexus, your willpower, the power inside of you is what pushed you to keep going. And now it's like, it's going to pay off. It's going to pay off. It's really going to, I don't know, it's really going to pay off. And with the strength here, this is giving like strong foundation. Like you cannot break this. It's like you worked hard for, you worked too hard for this. You worked like, it's like brick by brick. You made sure everything was solid one by one. That's why it was taking a while maybe because you wanted to make sure everything was solid one by one. And even then with the moon there, you still, you still weren't sure. You still didn't know. And it's like unexpectedly everything changes. For the good, for the better. And I'm getting things are about to start moving very fast. Even with the pentacles here, but with the chariot there, there's going to be some unexpected huge fast change or huge um, moment of success. Or this fast change is setting you up for this huge moment of success here. So whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep choosing happiness. Keep choosing love. Keep focusing on your foundation. Keep speaking your truth. Keep being authentic. Keep moving forward. Because yes, you are on the right track. I'm trying to tell you. It's going to hit you out of nowhere. You're on the right track. Wealth is not in your future. Wealth is your future. You are wealth. Therefore, you attract more of it to you. Somebody, somebody put that as an affirmation. I am wealth. Therefore, I gravitate abundance of wealth towards me, in me, and around me. That's what I have for y'all. Peace.